Togolese citizens living in Lagos State want the economic community of West African states and the American government to adopt policies that will see to the deepening of the democratic culture in their country. They made the call at a march to protest the outcome of the recent presidential election in their country. Theophilos Elama reports. In February this year, Togo's president, for Gassimbe, controversially won re-election, according to preliminary results from the Electoral Commission. Opposition leader Agbayome Kojo rejected the outcome of the poll, accusing the election management body of widespread electoral fraud. The Electoral Commission said that Mr. Nasingbe had received 72% of the votes compared with about 18% for Mr. Kojo. Mr. Nasingbe has been in power since the death of his father, Nasingbe Eyadema, in 2005. Togo is the only country in the ECOWAS community now where you have uh, the same family ruling for 54 years. Whereas we have the ECOWAS uh, uh, protocol of, uh, uh, for democracy and good, go good governance that has uh, limited you know, the number of terms that uh, a president can you know, spend uh, uh, in power to two. But why are ECOWAS leaders, you know, uh, closing their eyes on what is happening in Togo? While the United States and world bodies have faulted the outcome, they have called for a peaceful resolution of the crisis. We are asking them to go a step further by recognizing the victory of uh, His Excellency Dr. Agbeo Memesan Kodjo officially and uh, denounce, you know, a for Nyasimbe government so that uh, they can step down and uh, the new administration can take over uh, for Togolese people to move forward as a nation. This protest is just one of many that have taken place in several countries where Togoli have a healthy diaspora population. They hope that their voices will count and the democratic space in their countries will widen. Theophilus Ilama. TVC News, Lagos.